I got it, I got it, I got it. Ugh. He's got two mojos! Hey everybody, Dr. Captain Joe Hudak with you, just loading the truck up for a special trip and welcome back to another episode of Catch and Relief. So I wanna outline what's going on right now. Uh, we are at Garden State Marina, Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey. We have a couple of great guys there. Tommy on the Stephanie Rose, Steve on Off the Chain, as well as Jerry and Mark on the Endorphin. And we're all going out striper fishing, just loaded up all the gear. And uh, one of the things we decided to do, why don't we put some friendly wager on it? So one of the guys suggested we do our first annual Garden State Marina Striper Derby. So here's the rules, and this is a great one. So everybody wants that first fish in the morning. Fish on, right? You get that first fish on a boat, the skunk is off, you can relax and really start enjoying the day. It's always stressful until you get the first fish there. So one of the categories is the last of all the boats to get their first fish ends up buying breakfast or lunch, depending on what time we get back to the dock. We also have another category uh, called a Calcutta where it's the largest fish and striped bass you can only harvest between 28 and 38 inches so we're going to use some documentation to show a safely uh, released healthy striped bass to swim another day and that winner wins at calcutta also we're going to do a stringer which means the total amount of fish caught on that boat. So this tournament's gonna be friendly. Uh, it's gonna be a first annual fall striper derby. So tune in, cause we're gonna have some fun. It's pulling line, it's big. That's what she said. <laughs> Fuck. This has been really hard. I, I was hesitating on tightening the drag more so we didn't lose it. But it was tight. It is tight. <clears throat> wow. And sometimes it's just too much. It's just too stressful. Fuck me. I can do that. I'm not tightening this anymore. It was at that moment Dr. Joe realized he was buying breakfast. What happened? Off. You went a different direction and took off. Can't pull the fucking line out of its mouth. You got your phone on you? What? You got your what? phone on you? No idea what. Take some pictures. No. Take some pictures. Of what? The boat. The fit. Of all the boat? No, my boat. What? In case you're gonna forget what it looks like. Oh! Today, Junior! Going you, were, you were going to catch the other mojo that had the nah, fish. Nah, nah. I tried to pull him away from the boat so I could get under him. Yeah, you can't get kind of fucking line, man. This is, this is a family YouTube channel. You can drop an F on if you want to. The sun's barely up. Let me know if you need a break. Yeah. Big boy. You be quiet. Another one on. Second one on. Let me get that clicker off for you. Good. You still on feet? Yeah, pull it in. Pull it in. Fish on. Hold it, Jeff. Pass the rod. I'm not gonna get my finger in the video this time. All right, I know I did. I saw it. I was looking. I'm like, oh, Jack, did you hear me say Jack is? <laughs> hey, he really had that one. Here's this monster. I wish I was the monster you think I am. All right, 10:31, November 11th, right there to the left. Bam, 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 bam. 45 inches. Damn! Get a picture of the other one. 
All right, Joe, caught a 45 inch fish on November 11th, 11-11. And we're gonna release it, a beautiful fish, and she's gonna give us many more offspring to catch in the future. Yeah, swimming away. Nice. My fucking hero. So I want to set up this next scene before we share it with you. We call this the burger drop. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? One of the things about fishing is catching fish, obviously, bringing it home, cooking some fresh fish, but it's also about the extended period of time spent with people we care about, friends, family, in such a small space on a boat for that extended period of time. I won't go schizo, will I? It's a distinct possibility. We tell jokes, we laugh, we have fun, you know, we share stories, um, and a lot of us uh, like to eat. Just say, I love the food. I love, I love the food. Okay, good, here we go. So Josh, how do you like the food here? I Campo? love the food. Wait till I finish the question. So. One of the guys that we went fishing with the other day, we buddy boated, he was on his boat, Tommy from the Stephanie Rose, uh, was cooking up some burgers and we had some chatter on the radio. They were bragging about all the food they were cooking and he asked what Captain Chef Jeff on Team Backpay was, was cooking. Uh, we were seriously fishing that day, we weren't worried about food, but we were hungry. Uh, so we heard Tommy was cooking up some burgers on the grill while trolling out there. He kind of owed me for uh, his barbell from that tournament. So uh, he offered some burgers. So we're like, how are we gonna get these burgers from his boat to my boat? Tune in because this is a good one. We pulled it off and we call this the burger drop. All right, we're gonna see how this burger drop off goes. I see Tommy out there with the bag of goodies and we'll see what happens here. Let me see those burgers. This is the second time that we've come by Tommy. You know that, right? All right. So let's see what we got. We actually played him up. There he is right there. Tommy and Stephanie Rose. Paid back for the big bar bill. Cooking us up burgers on the back bag. <laughs> Look at that. How happy are you right now, Mike? Happy. How happy are you right now? Because we so got happy. food. I'm almost giddy. Like, I'm almost like, I feel like a little kid. Like, the excitement that I have. Awesome. Chef Jeff, first time he didn't have to cook. He's on his phone. Just Thumbs up, though. Stephanie Rose coming through with lunch. Tommy Madden on Stephanie Rose. Thanks a lot for this burger. Hand delivered at sea. Great. Is there a work on the plate? Yeah. Yeah, there's one thing put it down. Mm-hmm. This is a tasty burger. Ooh, look at that. The back pay had the biggest fish. Let's take a walk down and see what we got going on over here. So you guys had 13? 15. 15? 15. 15. 14 on the books. 15 was an overtime. It gotcha. Was, it was hooked at 10.30 though. <laughs> Tom had what? Tom had 11? Tom had 11. Nice. So we doing breakfast, we flying fish, what are we doing? One. The one after this is bad. Two. Yeah, buddy. Three. Did you cut, did you sharpen it? Did you feel the blade before you? Oh, oh scales, man, it's body armor.
so proud of you. A celebrity toast. Oh. All right. Cheers to the first annual Garden State Striper Tournament. Hey everybody, Captain Joe with you again. So, uh, yeah, that was a great day. We uh, we fished, we fished hard. Some of us won, some of us got yelled at. Can't pull the fucking line out of its mouth. And uh, some of us got stuck buying breakfast. I declare bankruptcy! But uh, we're back home right now. So we have our fillets and Captain Chef Jeff is shortly behind us. He's gonna be arriving in a couple minutes and he is gonna to put together an amazing meal. And we're also gonna share his recipe because he's got his YouTube channel as well called Captain Chef Jeff. And uh, tune in because this is by far our new favorite recipe for striped bass. Captain Chef Jeff in action. Slicing up some freshly caught striped bass. Secret ingredients video to follow. I'll see this plated up in just a few minutes. I've been designated the sous chef. Cut the striper up in small pieces. We're gonna place them in this flat dish. And Jeff is working on some topping. And wait to see what this gets topped with. Applying mustard to these delectable pieces of striped bass. And tune in to Captain Chef Jeff's YouTube page to see exactly what mustard we're using. And this is getting ready for another topping. <laughs> going in okay we have the oven at 425 because you want the oven to be hot when you put it in because when you, you let all the heat out then we're going to drop it down to 325 because that's what we want to cook it at but more than likely the oven's probably at around 350 right now because we opened the door all right so we have an empty plate let me see what we got here there it is with some garlic, broccoli, and you know what this is? is? Sour beets. Sweet sour beets. Yumbo yumbo. Pecan encrusted mustard striped bass. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode because we really enjoyed filming it, being out there fishing, and that was a great tournament. I didn't really care for the breakfast bell as much, but uh, if you did like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and do me a favor and go ahead and like the video as well, because when you like it, you let YouTube know that you like it, and then YouTube can share that with more people so we can end up getting more subscribers and followers. So thanks again for tuning in. We had a blast this time. Also, uh, I do a lot of fishing, but I'm also a chiropractor in Edison, New Jersey. So go over to Instagram and give us a follow at Hudak Cairo on Instagram. We share a lot of great content there as well. So thanks again for tuning in and tuna in next time. Thanks.